your trainer and operator here at Pro Fitness, Kurt Hartman, here with this installment of the video series. Today we're going to be going over a few tips to help you simplify your squat and gain more range of motion. First thing you notice, a real squat, full range of motion squat should look like this, going all the way down, coming all the way up. And as I go down and come up, my shins stay perpendicular to the floor. Down, up. Some of the problems you're going to see with people squatting is they'll go down and then they'll come up knocking. You don't want your knees coming in, you don't want the arches and feet collapsing during a squat. Weight should stay upward, properly over the feet, keep those shins properly over the ankles as you drive up, especially when you're adding weight. Now the other thing you're going to notice is some people will squat like this. They lean forward and they think they're going down farther just because their head's getting closer to the ground, when in actuality, they're just bending at the hips. Here's some of the things we're going to do to fix that. In these squats, if you're in limitations in those hips, get to the point where you can get your elbows to your knees and push your knees outward. From there, just slowly rock back and forth, sinking into that as low as you can. Once you're down to your lowest point, you're going to exhale as you drive up through your heels, all the way to lockout. The other thing you notice, as we were talking about before, when that arch of the chin collapses, watch what happens to the angle of my shin. If I let the arch of my foot collapse, everything turns in, the angle and pressure of the knee go inward, it's a very bad angle for your knee to go in. If you do the squats like this over time, you're going to have pain in your ankles, your knees, and your hips. It's extremely important to keep that body weight outward, properly over the ankles as you drive up. Those are a few things that will help you out with your squats. Now we're going to go to this workout's video challenge. Alright guys, here's this video's workout challenge. For this one, you're going to need a stopwatch or a timer, and a box or a chair that you can do dips off of. From there, you're going to set your timer or stopwatch to 10 minutes. It's going to involve four exercises. The first exercise is a lunge split switch. You're going to drop down into a lunge position, getting down nice and low without your knee touching the ground. From there, you're going to switch back and forth. Each time you use both legs, that counts as one rep. You're going to go for 10. From there, the next exercise is a walk out to push up. You're going to walk your hands forward, push up, walking it back. Your hands do not come off the floor. You're going to walk it right back forward into another push up. Every time you do a push-up, that counts as one rep. The third exercise is squats. Squatting all the way down, looking at full range of motion, standing all the way up to lockout. Again, for 10 reps. Rounding, the first finishing the round off, you're finishing with dips. Going for 10. You can have your legs straight up front for a little assistance, going all the way down or up. If you're looking to make it harder, straighten those legs up. Still focusing on getting that full range of motion. Once you do all four exercises, that counts as one round. You're going to shoot for as many rounds as you can within that 10 minute time period. As always, I'm here to get you the best shape of your life, and I look forward to seeing your uh, amount of rounds that you complete in the 10 minutes on Facebook. Thanks.